Hello and welcome to another lesson in our health and social care course and this is part two of the respect care values which were part of our lesson one. Today what we're going to be looking at is also looking at understanding and knowing what respect means in a health and social care setting but focusing this time on a case study as all of the content that we need to look at focuses on case studies throughout each of the units. You will need a pen and paper throughout and that's to record your own notes from some of the videos that you're going to watch also. At any stage feel free to just pause the recording and also to make sure that your notes are as robust as they can be and then also if you need to go back and have a look at some of the content then you can do so as well. Okay, so for the next task now, we're going to look at identifying the effects on a service user if care is not given with respect. I'd like you to make a note of the YouTube link below. And before continuing with the rest of this presentation, I would like you to watch the video. It is only about 1 minute 40 long. And there are two questions I'd like you to make notes on. First of all, it is how is respect not being given? So clear examples about how the care worker is and then also how do you think the service user feels about the way that they are being treated and just use of you know almost single words to describe how you think he might feel the way that he is being treated by the care worker. So after watching the video, I'm going to give some feedback now on some of the key words that we actually use to describe how Gordon might feel when he is being treated without respect in his care and also looking at those very specific examples of what the care worker is doing which is not showing respect. So first of all, she was late. And punctuality is really important when you are being respectful to somebody. So respecting the fact that Gordon actually is a working man and he has got things that he has got to do. So it should be on his time, not hers. She didn't knock on the door before she entered. And that was one of the key things from my last tutorial, which we talked about. And again, this is about respecting Gordon's home. It's his privacy. She was rude, not in just what she was saying but also the tone of voice throughout. It's very sharp with him. And she wasn't listening at all. And if you notice throughout the video, quite a lot of the times, and certainly when she went in, she was turned away from Gordon. So she wasn't making eye contact with him, which means that she probably wasn't clearly hearing him either. I mentioned she turned away from him. And not only that, she was on her mobile phone, and she was there in order to give care to Gordon, which means that she should have made him feel valued by giving him the time, putting down her own personal things because she was in work time. And he quite rightly did say to her, this is not what I pay you for. So he's obviously paying for private care. And she told him off. Not only did she tell him off, she actually used terms like beggars can't be choosers, which is making a reference to the fact that you know, he should be grateful for her turning up, even though he's the one actually paying for the service. So let's have a look at Gordon. Gordon might have felt a burden. Key words we're going to use now. Belittled. She's talking down to him. Yet she's younger, he's older. She should have had more respect there. He might have been very embarrassed. Embarrassed because he needed help and asking for help. And he got to the point where he was literally having to beg for it, wasn't he? He might have felt unimportant. She talked about having to constantly, you know, go and take her friend's daughter to school. Then she had another appointment and so on. He might have felt that he's just a nuisance in her day. She hasn't really got time for him. And as I said, not feeling important, we use the opposite, unimportant. I'm not going to let you just write those down or tick off the ones that you have already got and well done. But it is really important to use key words. 
key words to describe the emotions. And most of these words about how it makes him feel, this is all about how it impacts on Gordon's emotional health. So how should the care worker have treated Gordon in order to show him respect? I'd like you now to take just two minutes and looking at the list of what she did do, I'd like you to make an alternative list of what she should do in order to show him respect. This two minutes starts now. When you're doing this, try to give very clear examples. So, for example, we talked about her tone of voice and the way and the words that she used to speak to Gordon. So think about what you feel she should have done in that situation. How should she have spoken to Gordon when she came in? Just going to give you another 20 seconds. OK, so we're going to move on. So after the exercise that you have just done, I would like you to yet again make a note of the YouTube video that I would like you to now go and look at. And throughout, also make notes on how is respect being given within this scene. And you can tick off the ones that you've come up with for your own ideas and also add ones which you have found in the video that you haven't put in. And also, how now do you think that Gordon feels about the way he's treated? Again, the video is really quite short. It's the same amount of time as the other one. And once you have done that, come back to the presentation. So let's now look at the examples of how respect was shown by the care worker towards Gordon. She was on time. She was punctual. She knocked on the door before entering, respecting the fact that it was Gordon's house and she was entering his house, so she needed permission to do so. She greeted him very respectfully. Her tone of voice was also very good. And she asked him what he wanted to do first. So she gave him a choice rather than telling him what it was she was there to do. She also sat at eye level and think when she realised that Gordon had some grievances from what had happened to him before and by doing that she was showing that she was actively listening to his concerns. She also followed that up with advice on what he could do if he did want to take it any further. Throughout the whole process, she spoke in a very calm voice, quite a low tone voice, but enough to be heard, but it was a very calm voice. And she asked Gordon what he wanted for breakfast. 
By showing respect, Gordon may have felt many things. And this is only, again, a few examples. And what we're looking at here really are the opposite words to what we saw before with the care that he had been given. So he felt safe and trusted in this person's company. He felt important. He was at the centre of the care. And he felt cared for. She was giving him time to do things. He felt appreciated. Felt that he wasn't a burden. Ultimately feeling that he is valued, regardless of his injury and the things that he can't do, it was more to the fact that he was a professional man and he was still working and he needed to make sure that he was ready for the next part of his day. She made him feel important that way. Let's get you ready. Well, I would like to thank you for joining me today for the tutorial and we will be looking at other care values in other tutorials.